Hello. Look at all this crap. This is a bunch of stuff that I've accumulated over the last four years of window cleaning, having a business, just buying gear and crap that I don't need. I bought a lot less gear recently. I just stopped. I realized I just don't need any more. Um, this isn't even what's in my van, like what we take out every day. This is just stuff that's sitting in my garage that I haven't used in a long time. So I'm kind of going through it all. I bought a house, cleaning the garage today, and the garage is completely wasted. The owner was kind of a pig. So I'm going through all this stuff, decide what I want to chuck, and I figured since it's all window cleaning gear, maybe you're interested in it. Um, I got this is going to be my squeegee channel and rubber toolbox for extras, and then this is going to be like my T-bars and scrubbers. Um, maybe soap too. I don't know. There's like some random stuff in here too. So anyway, uh, I guess I'll just start. Um, here's a Ninja. That's a lot of fun. Got a couple super channels, 24 and 18 inch. I use the heck out of those. Absolutely love them. They're great. And then I went back to the Sorbos about a year ago, but these are fantastic channels. 24 barely fits in that toolbox there. Um, an 18 inch brass, classic. They never stay gold for long. But uh, they look cool that way. So I got a few of those. My issue is I just, I just haven't been buying the, the rubber. I also got two 14 inches. I just haven't wanted to buy the different rubber. So I haven't really used these that much. And um, so those are easiest to give another person to use. So that's what I've been doing with that. Here's uh, the Stevo accelerator. Back when uh, the second version wasn't out. I took those teeth off and went the Stevo route. Let's um, put chan uh, handles in here too. So you have an old accelerator, um, just a classic Home Depot T-bar. You put that in here. Um, an Ettery 24, 22-inch scrubber T-bar. Never gonna use that. <laughs> I don't even know why. I don't even have any 22-inch washers. That's bizarre. Um, like two at array rubbers, 12 inch. I'll keep that out. I'm sure I'm gonna find a lot more of those. 18 inch monsoon. That's actually pretty cool. I should, I might even use that this week, but it'll be in there. Um, 14 inch Mormon um, on an at array T bar. Love this T bar, but I switched to the Ninja and I just love that thing. The Ninja is an awesome T bar. This is a great sleeve. At least it was. I know it's kind of went downhill. Um, I haven't used it since they, oh, I haven't bought one in probably two years, so I don't know how they are now. Um, 18 inch flick pad, you know how I feel about these things. Might as well just throw this right in the garbage, but uh, let me see. We'll keep it just in case. It's a flick pad, pretty cool. Um, the old Mormon handle, that's pretty cool. That has a uh, Faded pretty nicely. I did like this. I did like how the handle was bigger on the Mormon ones. 30 degree Unger Ninja handle. Fantastic. I mean, it's a little bit easier on your wrist too, as opposed to like a 45 where you gotta be like that to get the right angle. A little bit easier. However, on a pole um, with deeper sill, it's gonna be a little harder to get down to the bottom, but comfortable handle, comfortable handle. Ettery, I don't know what the heck this is. Fantastic handle. If I, uh, there's my only issue is with that angle, you just, you can't do, your pole work isn't gonna be as clean. Although we've started to get away from pole work for residential, actually, which is funny. We stopped doing it for like higher stuff because you just can't, you just can't see. Like, unless like you're the owner and you're really gonna do a good job on pole work, it's almost, it's not a good idea to have other people try to learn pull work for houses, um, unless it's, my rule is if you can touch the bottom of the sill, then you can use a pole. If you can't, you gotta hop up the ladder. Just get out the darn ladder for being lazy. So that's, uh, or use a water pet pole. Preferably use a water pet pole first. I knew that was coming. I knew that, I know you were thinking it too. Um, great handle, hardly any use on it though. Maybe I'll start using them again, since we're doing more ladder work. Uh, ledge easy. 45 degree, love this handle. My only issue with it is that the darn, oh wow, this made me look like an idiot. Why am I not using these? 
Oh, they have, they have the teeth in them. That's why I'm not using them. For some reason, when I went to Detroit Sponge, I picked these up off the shelf and I bought the ones with teeth in them as opposed to the ones without the teeth that just hold the channel. And I just hate that. <laughs> I don't know, I think you can replace this. I just haven't done it. These ones actually, not much use on them either, but they're, they're great. Great handles. Yeah, here's the one that I did use. Yeah, see, that's how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be just a channel holder. Um, see, it's like kind of like brass in there. And then you just, you know, you're good to go. But the issue with these is that the, the handles come off. The glue doesn't stick. It looks like there was literally a dab of glue here and here. And uh, of course, it's just gonna slide right off. Great handle still. Here's something I made a mistake with as well. It's an Unger zero degree, but it also has the teeth. I don't know why. Like I've, I met another window cleaner and he, I don't even know, I didn't even know that they made the different versions with the teeth and without. So I just, it was a dumb mistake. Really love this handle though. Like, especially if you loosen it up and then you can, um, what do they call it? Snaking on a pole for like commercial panes where you can stand back and use it. It's awesome. There's a guy in my area that does, it. he only uses this on a brass and uh, he crushes it, Dan. His name is Dan. Works in Rochester Hills and he does all the storefronts. And I'm, I was jealous when I started out because he did every everybody in downtown and then I stopped doing the storefronts. And I'm, now I'm just kind of happy to see him. I'm like, what's up, dude? So he's doing a great job. Um, another one of these. I think I, I had at least three of these at one point. <laughs> this one still has the teeth on it. I should just send those all to poles and blades. I should just put them in a box and send them across the pond for them. Um, a couple of these. I decided just to try them out. Ah, so this is a newer one. I actually decided to try it out because I didn't like this one. And um, this one was actually pretty cool. I believe it's called the Snapper. I was pretty excited when that came out. <laughs> and then never used it again. And you've already seen that one. Bought two, one for me and my guy. 20, what is this? There's a sword that I'm measuring against, this is 22. What I have, oh, okay. So I have two 22 inch sleeves, I guess. No, I have two 22 inch T-bars in one sleeve. I don't know. Window cleaning Anthony in 2016, 2017 bought literally everything. 14 inch, 14 inch foot pad. Cool stuff. Home Depot sleeve, nothing wrong with that on an array 14 inch. Um, Lowe's Ettore Swivel, and it's literally, it is the same one that I used to use, that like I bought, like, you know, from WCR, uh, but it's just blue. It's the homeowner version is blue. So that's cool. Total, is that an 18 inch? Oh yeah. That's totally good T-bar right there. These are. Um, here's a lock swivel with a, angle this one has the um this one's actually doesn't bother me as much as the other one but you see how it the teeth go into that gap there this is why i don't use them it's just a pain and i like having the ends tight and you can't get that unless you put like clips in the sides but then it's like you can put the teeth and then you're gonna have the clips on the side it's like i don't know it's just too much work for a darn squeegee i don't know maybe i am too lazy I could always just use a ninja. Um, here's a, just a high quality Unger channel that I got at a uh, janitor store. Just high quality seal. Ah, that's the wrong one. Why didn't you say anything? You saw me put that squeegee in there. Whoopsie. Okay, yeah, so this goes in here. I'm gonna show you what's in this when I'm done so you can see, it's gonna be pretty nice. Another one of these things. Um, <laughs> enough said. Uh, I bought this to go on the back end of my water fed pole. 
and you can get bronze wool pads for it from Detroit Sponge. And I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna buy a hundred dollar zero scrubber um, unless like it's sponsored by WCR or wink wink. If you guys wanna do that, you can send me one, I'll use it. But uh, I bought this to impersonate that one and it just doesn't work at all. That's why, because the bronze wool didn't stick to this. It didn't stay on at all. When you're working, it kind of flops around, which isn't a horrible deal. Like, it's not that bad, like, not that bad, but the issue was that the bronze wool would just fall off when you're working, and then it's like, it was kind of dumb. So this is, I mean, this is essentially useless. I'm never, I don't want to say never. Maybe I'll use it for, like, one of these things. Yeah, that grips really darn good. Okay, so you could always use that for something, but... I mean, I haven't had to use this in years. It's basically this. Unger. Where did I get this at? This, I would have gotten this at Home Depot. So, I don't know. In case there's like a weird mirror that you literally, for some reason, can't get a ladder or a pole in, you could use these. They kind of just move the dirt around though, so. <laughs> Unless you know what you're doing, they're kind of tricky. They're tricky. Tricky, tricky. I'm running out of space in here. More of these pads, I bought a bunch of them because I had a job. That's why. I had a job. This house was like $400 to the outside only. And it looked like we, we called it the James Bond house, me and Alec, when we did it. It was like when I first started in these big old curved glass and they had like these huge, like just this row of just windows, like, Obviously, but they were like high up and I had to like get up on a balcony to I can't even ex I don't know how to explain them to you. There was just It was just like a row of skylights like one after the other and there was no way to reach them because they're just in the ceiling Like it was weird. So I did them all with this and um, it didn't look great But the customer was cool with it because she, she basically had no other way of doing it and so she was fine with it. Um, excuse this. Like I said, the guy who owned this house was a, was a slob, so it's a... Uh, you should have seen the inspection report for this garage. It was pages, pages long just for the garage. Unbelievable. Um, bunch of shoe covers. Might keep these out somewhere, because these we need more often. I tend to go through them. They rip, they just rip so easily, especially if you wear them on the porch. Uh, I'm gonna rip them really fast. Dropping them everywhere, like an idiot. I'm just gonna put these right here for now. Um, this is an extra water-fed carbon filter. You don't really need this, but I have one uh, on hand, probably about the time I change it. Bunch of dish soap. These are actually pretty, these are empty. These two are. So those are good for spray bottles if I need them. Put them in here. This is what I use on interiors. Sorry about that. That's what I use on interiors. Um, Miss Meyer Square bottles are just the best. They, I mean, you can get, if you fill this up before a house, I mean, most houses, that's all you're gonna need. It's gonna be perfect to finish, you know, finish a house with. Um, this is actual soap. These are full of soap. This is pumpkin. I don't know if they made this one this year. I'm gonna bring that in for the wife. I live on a fast road now, so sorry about that. Bluebell. I'm never gonna use these. I mean, I just buy Dawn, so take them inside. Um, 14 inch Ettore. More pads. Mr. Clean Eraser. These are sweet. Perfect for, uh, I used to use them for fingerprints on when I did, oh wow, I just had a flashback. I used to do this restaurant every week and uh, it was like $40 in and out and it was such a bad deal. It took me like an hour. Yeah, it took me like an hour and I was, I was getting like 40 bucks for it. But I was doing it every week. It was fun. I got a lot of customers from it. Wow, that was good times. I like that place. Anyway, um, I used to use these on the doors because before I would leave, people would be walking out because it was a breakfast cafe and I'd uh, just take their fingerprints off with one of these fun kind of stuff. Don't really use them nowadays. Yeah, you know, maybe I'll just take it inside because I don't use them. 
I don't use them for work. We don't we don't clean with them anymore. Um, Scotch Brite non-stick. <laughs> don't use on non-stick pad. It's a non-scratch. Um, use these for like a week just to try them and as a method of replacing steel wool to be more sustainable. But um, you just can't beat steel wool, bronze wool. Bought this for literally one job, ten dollars storefront. The guy was like, "Can you dust off my pipes?" And I was like, "Sure, Mister. <laughs> I need the money. I'll do anything." So I bought it to dust the pipes off, and then he ended up canceling, and I never, <laughs> never used it. That's just funny. I remember I ran out to do. I drove an hour to Detroit Sponge too because I was like, "Oh God, I gotta make sure I have this duster. Better make sure I have it." Never gonna use it. Oh. So the question is like, what do I do with this now? I don't, I have no use. We'll just put it with the scrubbers. Um, bunch of rubber. That looks lightly used. Here's a Sorbo factory edge. Nice. Factory edge 18 inch. Yeah, I actually needed some of this. Um, big issue is keeping your rubber separated. Now, if you were Ettore and you just put, uh, gave everybody a container with your rubber, then you would be awesome, but nobody does that except for Ettore. That's why Ettore is the best. But I don't use their rubber. <laughs> I like their rubber the best. I just don't use it because Sorbo's easier. Um, this looks like Ettore. This is all Ettore 12. Ettore 12. Ettore 12. I don't even hardly use 12. Yeah, this is on Ettore 12. Okay, so I don't know why this is not in here. But, um, you know who showed me how to do this? That was Luke and Rihanna. Do you guys remember them? I love I love Luke and Rihanna. It's been a long time. Hope they're okay. They haven't posted anything anywhere. Not even like an Instagram post. Miss those guys. Um, Sorbo 24, Sorbo 18. Don't have a container for those. This is the Haas 36 inch super channel WCR. Um, I used this a couple times back when I had some big storefronts. Now, any windows this big, I just water fed pull them. So I don't do that. I don't do any storefronts really. And I don't want to buy a 36 inch rubber. It's a, I mean, it's a, it's a beast piece of aluminum though. I mean, I should do a brake test on this. Ooh, that, that actually may have been too. <laughs> Idiot. Would you guys want to see a brake test of squeegees? I had this theory that nobody is doing crazy, bizarre stuff with window cleaning tools. Like, like a break, like nobody's like shooting a Sorbo handle to see how well it holds up. Is that something you'd be interested in? I know you tool guys love pretty much anything if it's a squeegee, so I, I don't know. Maybe it could be fun. A couple of channels. 22 inch Quicksilver. 18 inch Cobra. 16 inch Cobra. I bought that on accident. Um, I accidentally bought that. Instead of an 18 inch. I was ordering it online. That's because this was my first squeegee ever. That's right. These two were my first real squeegees. I had the Walmart one. No, 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 Walmart. No, it was um, Lowe's Ettore. I had the hardest time. And everybody's like, buy a Sorbo. And I ordered a 12 and a 16 inch because that's what I was pretty sure I had. And, uh, yeah, change the game, man. I was like, it's not leaving marks. It's a brand new rubber and it's not leaving marks. It was great. So a couple of Sorbos laying around. A pair of vice grips, just in case your customer gets a little... I don't know where I was going with that. A couple of... Um... <coughs> Bob. Notice me, Bob. Um, yeah, rubber.
All right. <laughs> Eric Bland gave me this probably three years ago. You guys might not know this, but Eric, you probably know who Eric Bland is. Eric Bland used to live five minutes down the road from me. And that was just like the weirdest thing. Neither of us knew that until it just, how did that happen? I don't know. We like met somewhere randomly. And then uh, we're like, dude, we live five minutes from each other. And he's like, here, try this GG4. And he gave it to me for free. And I'm really sorry, man. It's been sitting in this Dawn bottle for probably, three. I'm so sorry, dude. It's, a, it's exp I mean, this is probably $10 in solution. Feel bad. All right. This video is gonna be, gonna be a little long. So that's about all I got. Um, I'll show you the insides of this real quick. There's the toolbox. Got a couple of them. Um, <laughs> I just bought a whole pack of these. I got those in. A couple of Eterate clips, a couple of Sorbo clips, and a bunch of these back when I was using accelerators. Four fronts. Um, got some dirty towels down there. And the T-bar bucket. Right on. And this is a spoon I carved. Made of Osage Orange. Don't call me. I'm just kidding, you can call me. This is an Osage Orange um, wooden spoon. I carved it. Used to be really into carving back in the day. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.